and we are back. Um, yo, what's up, everyone? It's uh, Connor here, back with another video. And um, so we're gonna be something I haven't done in almost a year. I'm pretty sure it's been over a year uh, because I started my channel like a year and some days ago. Uh, we're gonna be doing a ranking video. This will start off my YouTube channel, and we're gonna be doing more. So I just saw the Saw movie yesterday in theaters at Marcus. Only five dollars on Tuesdays, uh, but I just saw every Saw movie this last week, and I will be ranking them worst to best. Now, if you guys haven't seen these, uh, go check out my other videos I made like over a year ago. Uh, it really helps the channel, and we we're six subs away from a hundred. And I uh, hope you all enjoy this video. So, um, at number nine is uh, Saw 3D. Honestly, the worst Saw movie out of the franchise. The blood is terrible. It literally looks like pink lemonade squirting out from everywhere. And uh, the traps were probably the worst, and the characters were terrible. Now, Saw 3D was almost second last. There was just this one better thing from the movie that's above it that gives it an advantage and uh now on to number eight number eight will be saw five now saw five the traps were better and that's the only thing that was better in this movie than saw 3d still a pretty bad movie but i will still watch this one first in the marathon any day compared to saw seven aka saw 3d but saw five definitely second worst franchise material uh one of my least favorite movies in the franchise and that's pretty much all i have to say about saw five now um get on to the mediocre movies we got saw four saw four is uh the saw that introduced um hoffman one of my least favorite characters in the series but still better than saw five and seven but the only thing that it has better than those is that the characters are a little bit better even though like i just said hoffman's terrible uh and the traps are good there's nothing really wrong with the traps uh but that's really pretty much it with the saw four so um yeah i just realized i only have one movie left that has hoffman in it and that's saw six and i'll get to that later but the next one will be jigsaw the second newest Saw movie. Uh, Jigsaw is very average, if you could say. The traps aren't really anything special. I got really, uh, Saw 2, the needle, uh, like the whole entire needle pit vibes from the thing where they drowned and the knives fell from them. But really, Jigsaw is just average it's definitely better than saw four five and seven but that's pretty much the best i have to say about it the characters were uh, bad not very good but still a decent movie next at number five five at number five we have saw three saw three is a pretty good movie um, it's definitely better than the ones below it. Saw 3 has the weirdest plot with uh, John Kramer uh, and her having the shotgun call around her neck and having to bring him back. But Saw 3 is definitely the best I've said so far because this is Jigsaw, this is Saw 3, and this is... Uh, Saw 4 and uh, Saw 3 is pretty good. It's definitely I'll rewatch it anytime any day um, It's just below the other four that I'm about to review and Talking about the next four number four is Saw 6. Saw 6 is a really good movie I really like this movie. It is definitely a ab very above average the traps are my second favorite in the series and uh, the characters were pretty good as well. And um, the 
characters were actually had sympathy and they had character development, which Saw 5, 7, and 4 did not have whatsoever. So that's why I'm putting Saw 6 above Saw 3, 4, Jigsaw 5, and uh, Saw 7. And now at number 3, might come as a shock, it's Saw Original. It's the first ever Saw. Now, the first ever Saw was a low-budget movie, but it's an amazing Saw movie. It's definitely should be runner-up, but I changed my mind at the last second. Uh, but Saw 2, no, original. Saw, the original Saw was definitely a step up from the rest I reviewed, except from Saw 6, which I just said, but... The original Saw, it's just a low-budget movie, but it's really good, and it's a classic. So that's why I'm putting it as number three. Now, number two is Spiral, A Book of Saw. Now, Spiral, Book of Saw has not very good traps, but the acting is the best in the series. Um, the acting was really good with Chris Rock as the main character. Now, Chris Rock is a very good actor and he should be in more movies now but i think that spiral book from saw is very good and it actually focuses on the detective scenes now i think that it's this much lower than number one but number one is still an amazing movie and we'll get to that in literally about five seconds Five, four, three, two, one, and number one is Saw Two. Saw Two has the best four, and one of my favorite traps, the reverse bear trap. And I honestly think that Saw Two is the best in the series, and it also had the pin needle trap. Like I said, that was a good trap, and um, it has some of the better characters, like probably the third best characters in the whole series. And I'm sorry for my dog barking. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you all for watching this video. i see you in the next one. And um, make sure to subscribe. See ya.